I'm Alvin Crawford. I'm the director of the Crawford Spine Center at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. The Spine Center has become more than a scoliosis clinic or just a spine clinic per se, in that now we have developed the concept of an integrated network of specialists that convene on a bi-weekly basis to discuss complicated and complex problems. In addition to the variety of specialists is that now we are developing and are presenting nurses with pretty much added credentials of being spine nurses getting into the level of selectively treating and managing those patients and they do an unbelievable job. So this comprehensive team gets together to manage these patients. In, in, in conditions like neurofibromatosis, I think this is the only validated approach that has led to good outcomes. This patient may epitomize the prowess of the spine center and our outreach. This is a child from uh, Hawaii uh, who had been noted to have a spinal deformity, but his grandmother had noticed a, a, a progressive decrease in his neck to the point that he was not able to bring his chin off of his chest cage. If one would look at the x-ray here, you can see the skull, the cervical spine, but the fact that rather than having a straight spine that you would normally see, he has a hairpin turn that's over 180 degrees of deformity in the cervical spine, and as a result, he could not bring his chin off of his chest. Now, needless to say, with that type of contortion, the spinal cord is very definitely at risk. However, the problem was that when we did an MRI, we found that he had a grade two astrocytoma in the cord at that level. And I think it again brought out one of the virtues of our spine center in that we have a sitting neurosurgeon and the neurosurgeon and I performed uh, a release and an incisional biopsy, uh, again, showing the, the, the virtue of the concept of a spine center. In addition, we were able to perform traction release and then to stabilize the child with what's called an occipital cervical thoracic fusion, or fusing the neck, but one can see as opposed to a 180 plus degree curve, uh, initially one can see that this is a relatively straight spine. Uh, in order to do that, it would uh, require, again, a second and tertiary level of surgery, including not only releasing, not only uh, doing a biopsy of the tumor and the fusion, but also because of the lack of bone formation, we had to do autologous grafting of his fibula from his legs, and that is to put the small bone of the leg into the area of the posterior spine in an effort to get stability. He is doing well, he's back in Hawaii. We will be seeing him in the not too distant future and he'll return to the Spine Center. When we've been able to look at children, sometimes specifically those who have neurofibromatosis, who have relative what we call thoracic lordosis or straightened spines, the pulmonologists have uh, helped us to discover that perhaps a part of the reason that some of the children with severe deformities get into pulmonary and breathing disorder has to do with the fact that maybe the spine is coming forward a little bit into what's called the tracheobronchial tree or the breathing apparatus. And we've been able to take what would be considered bench to bedside to, to, to intervention uh, in some of those patients through our pulmonologists to hopefully affect a better outcome for these children in the future. And it has to do with how we're now perhaps contouring uh, our instrumentations, our rods, in a different manner than we would have previously in an effort to try to reverse uh, some of the uh, problems that we had had earlier. We have, at this point, uh, the advantage of having more than likely the largest specific neurofibromatosis type 1 clinic in the continental United States.